this works. I turned down more than 30 firearms manufacturers because they just weren't the highest quality. And then I approached some of the best names out there, and they said, no, thank you. And then Head Down fell in our lap, and they're even better than what I thought was the best. Uh, so that's why we are supported by HDFirearms.com, because I can do it and feel really good. And you can call it superstition whenever you want. If I screw somebody over, metaphysically, I know it comes back on me. But it's not some sociopathic thing where I don't screw people over because I know it comes back on me. I was always like that. And I bring that up a lot because the problem in this world is those of us that are like that don't understand why other people aren't. Well, beyond understanding it, it's time to just not be involved with people that screw us over. It's time to withdraw our consent, withdraw our money, withdraw being nice to them. It's time to shun them. And they're going to get aggressive with us. It's time when they attack us to defend ourselves and not shoot our mouths off about how big and bad we are. It's time to get ready when they come, when they try to come for us, when they try to put us in their FEMA camps, when they try to have their little communist brigades urinate all over us. It's time to give them a surprise. And it's time to stop their attempt to start a revolution killing cops. It's time for us to actually align with justice. And that doesn't mean it's with corrupt police departments. It's not justice to randomly kill some cop not knowing if they're a good person or a bad person. They want a direct revolution in this country as going after random police. Instead, if everything goes off, going after the actual kingpins. And that's not Barack Obama. I don't want anything to happen to Barack Obama. That would turn him into a martyr. In fact, the globalist, I think, and I've said this for six years, might do something to him. A failed suicide attempt, a failed uh, assassination attempt, an auto accident, something to make him the underdog. They're all into that. That's the last thing we want. But there are people above Barack Obama, the traitors that are giving our military the orders through Obama to put al-Qaeda and ISIS in charge to engage in mass murder. But the good news is the former head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, the former deputy head of the CIA, who both just left the last few months, went public in the last month and said our government runs al-Qaeda and ISIS. We set up the whole deal. We were ordered to do it. We put out fake intelligence to the public to cover this up. This is a horrible crime. Congress needs to investigate. And where is Congress? They're there with their tails between their legs because they know there's a mafia running America. They know foreign banks took over. And they just want to be part of the takeover and think they're going to be safe in that. You know where the bodies are buried, Congress. You know where the bodies are buried, FBI director. You know where the bodies are buried, CIA director. Nine times out of ten in history, when they bring in a tyranny like this, they take out everybody that went along with it. Unless you were a top-tier progenitor in on the original conspiracy, you will be killed or you will be indicted, you will have your money stripped, and you'll be thrown out. That is a standard move. The globalists follow standard moves and formulae. You're idiots. Getting rid of the republic, getting rid of checks and balances, getting rid of due process, getting rid of all that. You are getting rid of things that were fought for for 800 years under Magna Carta. By men a lot tougher and smarter than you, I will assure you. Just look at what you've done. Look at what you've turned this country into. Look at how you've degraded the incredible honor of the West. You are disgusting filth. You are a joke. You are anathema. Your ancestors spit on you. But I will tell you this. There, it's never too late to turn around. It's never too late to realize you don't want to be part of this and to get off the power trip. I'm going to talk more about it later. I'm going to go to your calls. Excuse me. Margaret in Oklahoma, thanks for holding her on the air. Yes. Yes. Um, thank you. Thank you for taking my call. Yes, ma'am. Um, um, I, I actually have two people in my family who are damaged by vaccines, and it's a, it's it's the schools cope with it. There's so many, there's so many of us. It, it's amazing. What I want to talk about um, is about uh, the Second Amendment 
and about Eric Holder, even though he's not attorney general anymore. But when he was, he effectively destroyed the Second Amendment. Um, that uh, just the first 13 words, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. Well-regulated means trained. Uh, he destroyed the Second Amendment when he threw a young man who never hurt anybody uh, and was totally a good, kind person, threw him into prison for 26 years. The FBI lied. The the, the kangaroo court um, was held. I know. The ATF loves throwing innocent gun owners in prison. They'll spend $10 million to do it. They hate good people. Now he's been in prison four and a half years, and they're burying his case. That he's, He tried to appeal, but the appeal is just lost. His name is Schaefer Cox from Alaska. He, he claimed to be the, the leader of a 3,500-man militia. Now there's no more militias because uh, they've really, really uh, scared them off. There's nobody. I know. I used to have real militias just on just to talk to them, and then there'd be FBI agents in the parking lot when I walked out from the TV studio asking me what I was planning and, and then I'd say, give me your ID, and they'd laugh at me and get in their car and drive off. And uh, I just can't believe it. It's so sick. As if the militia's going to do anything. I mean, the FBI knows that their own agency blew up Oklahoma City with the ATF and German intelligence. I mean, I know all the names. I've talked to all the cops. I have the witnesses. I mean, can we just stop pretending? And I know the average FBI agent's a good man or woman, on average. But it doesn't matter. Your boss is above you. Eric Holder ran the cover-up of OKC. But, Margaret, I could guess that a lot of women were calling in because I talked about vaccines. Funny you mentioned you've had family damaged by it. Why don't you add your testimony to the mountain range of people that have warned folks about what vaccines do? I mean, my own family is riddled with the damage of vaccines. Go ahead. Yeah. My, my son, when he was, uh, in, in when he was uh, two and a half, he got this DPT in his leg. His leg was gone. We, his muscle, that muscle atrophied. They told us he had Lou Gehrig disease. Then they told us it was Mr. Disease. And he never married because he thought he had a genetic disease. Sure. That's mission complete. Disease. Absolutely. Lou Gehrig's and hundreds of other new neurological disorders are up multi-thousand percentage points. Now they've got headlines, by 2030, upwards of half of Americans can have neurological disorders. And no one asks, pediatric cancers didn't exist 60 years ago. Now they're everywhere. And people are always, want to raise money for a little kid dying from leukemia? And I'm just like, um, no, because that money just goes right into the folks that killed him. Ask yourselves why all the kids are getting cancer. God bless you, ma'am. We don't have time to hear her other vaccine damage story, but so what? You know, our son's leg rotted away. Hey, the government loves you. Take more shots. It's fine. God bless you, ma'am. I'm sorry for your son. They didn't get his soul, though. And see, I don't know how that works when they brain damage a baby and they never attain full consciousness. I guess that soul just ends up when they die going right to God. So in a way, it's a reprieve. I, I can't judge See, the globalists know a lot of this stuff. I wonder, they wouldn't be killing, brain-killing kids, soft-killing them, mind-killing them, if they thought they weren't still getting the soul, because that's what they really want. So maybe they think when they're all brain-damaged and get all crazed and then get older, that they'll get smart enough to get corrupted and maybe possessed. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to figure out why these demons from whatever dimension they come from want to brain-damage the kids. Because I know God doesn't damn people to hell that never were conscious. I don't know. It's just food for thought. Let's talk to Scott in Nebraska. You're on the air. Welcome. Uh, yeah, this is Scott in Nebraska, basically an Army retired retired Army officer. And uh, by going out to the VA, and I'm sitting in the VA one time, and this guy, was a, he's a black guy, said, I used to be uh, 300 pounds. He said, uh, they gave me a shot of something out here, and uh, now I weigh 120 pounds. He said, there was something in that needle. And so... It, the other part of that is I've been waiting uh, seven years for the conclusion of my VA case. You're talking about they're taking property and, and stripping away your guns and stuff. Well, the VA had it set up that if I would claim depression, uh, go talk to a psychiatrist, then they would uh, give me maybe another 30% on top of what I got. It could save my house. But uh, <clears throat> I decided not to do that. I decided to hold out. and It's going to be another two years before... I see anything from the VA as far as compensation or if uh, they decide to compensate me at And think all. about it. There's a war on vets. It's an admitted war. And they tell you, because I've talked to countless vets on air and off air, they say, okay, we'll give you that surgery 
uh, for your skin cancer, or we'll give you that surgery for your uh, heart problems. And we're talking about, you know, sometimes young guys, but also old guys, but we want you to go to psychiatrists and admit that you want to kill people or that you're mentally ill. And they go, but wh what? just do it, we'll give you full disability. But I got a job. I just can't afford the, the you know the insurance that'll cover this. Will you just give me a heart surgery? And they're just like, no. I mean, just think about how evil that is. Yeah, I know. They they've been delaying the delaying. I fought the county for two years, and then I went finally to the state, and I said, hey, this county is wrong. And so for two years, they basically lied. And the guy that uh, ran the county <laughs> mysteriously just retired. So I don't know if he had anything to do with it. But for five years, I've been fighting these guys. And there's something else I wanted to ask you. If you knew a, a lawyer for MK Ultra, I, I need to get into that. I won't say why, but there's a reason. Well, we know a lot of the experimentation is admitted on the veterans. And I've even had family that was in admitted uh, experimentation. It wasn't mind control, but it was chemical. And they've just done everything to the troops. It's so sick. That's why they say they love them all day on the news. No, they hate you. The cowards that run things absolutely hate men and women that are willing to put their life on the line. They hate honorable people. Even if some of these wars were dishonorable, the people were honorable. And that's why they disarm the troops whenever they're around them, because they're total filth. Um, I'd have to look into that, but if you research, there's been a lot of loose uh, lawsuits over MK Ultra, MK Naomi. I would just Google lawyer wins case for secret testing on vets. And then you'll see the hundreds of lawyers that have won cases for that. Uh, and generally, if you were tested on or messed with, you will then find out that there was a whole group of other people that were and that you won't have to re-engineer or, or reverse engineer and investigate what happened to you. You can then basically find out you're a cookie cutter. That's one major weakness of the globalist. Is they f it's one of their strengths, too, because people ignore it. But if you know the weakness, it can be exploited big time, is it's all cookie cutter. And they do all this stuff basically in set parameters because it's such a, a large-scale operation. And so if you'll simply research the specifics and then research other cases like yours, it'll be the same names nine times out of ten that did it to you. But... It's their religion to test things on good men and women and to hurt people. It's their religion to cull the population. They get off on it. They love going to a shopping mall and seeing dying and sick kids everywhere and, you know, kids with chemotherapy bags on them and people dying and unhealthy and seeing the symptoms of what they've done to them. Coming up the next hour, after I continue with calls, I'm going to get into something that was announced yesterday that I mentioned some, but it should have covered more. And it ties into a whole bunch of other key news. And I lost the cover sheet to this, this uh, original article out of the Washington Post Foreign Affairs Journal, where two years ago they said they were, quote, legalizing propaganda by the CIA domestically against the American people. There's the headline, the U.S. repeals propaganda ban, spreads government-made news to Americans. Now Obama has come out with an executive order saying they're going to have psychiatrists and psych warfare experts target us for our own good. Now the reason they're doing that is they're having to hide it in plain view because it's so illegal. It's still illegal in the Constitution, Bill of Rights, and common sense. I don't care if they pass a law saying child molestation is legal next week. It's still illegal because my heart says so, common sense says so. And their own people don't want to do this. So they're putting it out in the news to try to condition everyone. And if you can, we, we did a news report two years ago. It's actually in the article. Um, Pentagon promises to stop lying because of drudge. In that produced piece, we have a whole video from the Pentagon there, but there's a produced piece where I just play clips where they promise to, quote, stop lying by being embedded in every news department in the country. That's what this psych warfare takeover is. I mean, this is the next level. Remember, in Europe, they arrest you if you criticize open borders or if you try to protest anything, basically. There it is. Drudge forces established establishment to admit culture of lies. That video ties in to all of this. And it's a big deal. I'm going to go to Jameson in Virginia. And, of course, uh, Eileen in Montana, and then Sue in Michigan uh, here in just a moment. And then also in the next hour, I haven't gotten to most of the clips from the debate yet, but I will do that.
Let's hurry on to Jameson in Virginia. Thanks for calling. You're on the air. Hey, how y'all doing? 